The G book contains all you'll ever need to know about UGA traditions. It's like a history book you actually want to read. Let's start from the beginning. The arch. Okay, so on the way, I'm going to read you a couple fun facts about the arch before we get there. It's right outside. Alright, so the arch is about 160 years old. It was most likely forged in 1857, and the website literally said that probably forged in 1857. They must not know. It was originally a gate and a fence that surrounded campus and separated it from Broad Street. The main purpose of that was because there was cows on Broad Street at the time because it was a dirt road and they kept chewing on the North Campus lawns so they had to keep them off somehow. It was actually called the gate by students until the 1900s when the fence was torn down and now it's known as the arch. Although it was built way after the actual charter of the university, it has become the official symbol of the university. And my personal favorite fact is that it was actually built out of old parts from boilers and light posts from around town. Instead of just forging the whole thing anew, they just took spare parts and threw something together. There actually used to be two doors that connected the three arches so you could get through the fence. Alright, so here we are approaching the arch. Okay, I'm going to point out some interesting things right here. These are made of old light posts from downtown. And that up there, those, the arch part, that is made of old boiler parts and the little feathery leafy decoration is most likely made from the old porch of a house downtown. I forgot the name of the house, but there it, it is an actual thing. Um, superstition says that if you walk underneath the arch before you're graduated, you won't graduate in four years. But a lot of people accidentally walk through it just like just like that. I, I did it once. Don't tell anybody. I want to graduate. But it's just where a lot of people do fundraisers and protests happen here all the time. It's really neat. And it's, it's just cool to see people walk by it and who walks through and who walks under it. And you just know who people are. It's, it's interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and read the entry in the G-book about it. Okay. The arch... Serving as the official symbol of the University of Georgia, the arch was built in the 1850s. The arch initially stood along a fence separating North Campus from Broad Street and was referred to by students as the gate until the 20th century. Daniel Redfern is credited with making the arch the sacred symbol of UGA. Recognized as one of the school's finest icons, the students today revere the arch as its three pillars represent the virtues of wisdom, justice, and moderation. That's just like the Georgia flag. Upon graduation, a bulldog should embody these qualities. Until then, you can take a photo of yourself by the arch to mark tradition number one. Okay, so following each of the 20 traditions are places to put pictures of you doing them all. The goal is to complete all 20. And that's a wrap. March winds and April snow.